Okay, so we will start with how to use um, Zotoro. So the most uh, important part about Zotoro is how do you get our references in? So I have th thousands of references, 6,300 plus. So each one is, you can see that there's a the journal type is actually a journal article, the title and so on. So how do I get all this information in without typing? There are at least five different ways. Um, so for this video, I'll show you only two ways. How are we going to get it in for, from, from your PubMed ID and using the DOI numbers? So these are the two of my most commonly used methods. Well, I'm a biologist, I have medicines to be exact. So I use PubMed very often. So this is PubMed. Um, when I Google, when I try to search for things in PubMed, so PubMed is under the National Center of Biotechnological Information, which is under the National Library of Medicine, under the National Library. National Institute of Health. So let's say, how do I, um, if I search for something, how do I actually get it in? Let's say um, I find out more about, um, yeah. graphy on, let's say, drug use, for example. So let me search for something. Okay, so let me clear all. And let's say that I want a, um, you know, I just do a random search and <clears throat> yeah. So let's say I want to get these two papers in, the first one and the second one. Okay, now, whenever you see that this part, PMC article, so it's actually quite useful. So I can actually take this PubMed ID, okay? get this PubMed ID. In fact, I can do a right click, get the PubMed ID itself, which is 23,798,000. Okay? So if you look at this, the environment, the environment modifies the relationship between social network and secondhand smoke exposure in South Korean non-smokers and so on. Okay. So I just go to Zotoro and all I need to do is I go to this second icon, which if I hover over it, it says add items by identifier. It tells me that I can add ISBN, DOIs, PubMed IDs and so on. So I commonly just use PubMed ID. So I put the PubMed ID here and I hit enter. Okay. So you realize that Yeah, it's actually brought in for me. So see, the um, environment modifies whatever thing. So it's actually brought in for me already. And especially, so all the details are here. Okay, journal name, authors, even the abstract, the publication, volume issue, page number, year, and so on. And the best thing is if it is able to go through using PubMed and find the PDF, it will also give me download the PDF as well. After which I can just double click on it. And what I see is, uh, it takes a little bit of time. Yeah, I load up the PDF. Okay. So this is how easy it is. Now, what if the second article, for example, this, I don't have a I, it's not easy to find a PDF. I, I may, may or may not be sure. So PubMed ID, PMID is one of them. The second way is you get it through the DOI number. So you copy the DOI number, go to Zotoro, using the same um, add items by identifiers, put in the DOI number and hit enter. If it can find the DOI number, it will also pull it in for me. Okay, so let's wait for a while. Apparently, it's not able to find the PDF. Okay, so let's say, for example, if I have the PDF, let's say if I have the PDF ready, um, and let's say this is the PDF that for this article, 
Okay, I have no idea what is. Let's open it up. Okay, it's another paper. It's totally different. But let's say this is a PDF. How do I put in the PDF? Okay, very easy. You just drag the PDF from your um, file manager. Just drop it in to the reference. Okay, so please be careful with the cursor. There are actually three cursors. If it is in the in between, don't use it. Make sure you highlight the um, reference. Drop it in. And then that's it. Okay, you find that it's actually locked in already. Okay, so you open it. Well, this is a wrong PDF. Okay, so let's say if I have made if I made a mistake, wrong PDF, how? Just go to the PDF and basically delete it. So you remove the item from trash. That's it. Okay, so there are, these are the two most common ways using PubMed ID and using DOI. Okay, that's all for this session. We will see you in the next session. Bye-bye.